Okay, good day everyone. So our lesson for today is what is a graphic organizer or advanced organizer. So you may call them either way. So it is a visual or pictorial way of constructing knowledge and organizing information in facilitating learning and instruction. Why? Because visual formats are appealing for many types of audiences and can provoke interest for users than text formats. So although you know you know this already, but still, so a graphic or a advanced organizer is a colorful or is a creative way in presenting information or in organizing information. With it, you can easily get the attention of the audience as well. And getting their attention or your attention will help more in learning. So according to Kylin Beer, graphic or organizers are tools that help your brain think. Why? Because we will need to analyze how they are interconnected. Okay, so here are some examples of graphic organizers or advanced organizers. So graphic organizers or advanced organizers, they are visual or pictorial presentations of concepts and knowledge. So these are just the key points or main points. So it facilitates teaching and learning processes, according to researchers. It is applicable to all levels of education and across curriculum areas. So it, we can use graphic organizers to children, to high school, to senior high, or to college. Why? Because it, based on how it is created, it is very visually appealing to the audience and shows positive outcomes which go beyond comprehension and reading. So graphic organizers are interactive, innovative, experimental, integrative, inquiry-based, collaborative, varied, and constructivist. So the most common visual learning strategies or how you formulate your own graphic organizer is one concept mapping it is a visual representation of the relationship between ideas so it is a or a graphic organizer that shows how each term is interconnected webbing in webbing students will see how their central idea is linked to supporting details such as this one so our main idea is the graphic organizer and we have the supporting details. And mind the mapping. So visual representation of hierarchical information. So this is a graphic organizer that shows uh, it's either from bottom to up or from top to bottom. So it shows which is the most important less important, less important, less important, and the not so important at all. And finally, let's just change slides. So, how is it advantageous or advantageous to students, to you students? So, graphic or advanced organizers can help you visualize the general concept, the general idea, and just simply break it down into manageable, specific ideas. This is correct. Would you rather read a two-page paragraph, a two-page essay, or are you just going to look at a one-page organizer? So, rather than read and read, you just need to analyze the organizer. Analyze the correlation between two ideas or themes, structure their writing projects better, and make the entire process easier. Communicate their ideas or your ideas, Visually represent their thinking process. Explore all possible options by brainstorming. Remember, uh, graphic organizers are experimental. Determine the validity, relevance, and correlation of the evidences. Enhance understanding when reading and writing. Easily identify the main elements of a composition. Evaluate the cause and effect. Compare and contrast ideas. Implement problem-solving skills, enhance organizational skills, 
expand their vocabulary, and recognize sequences, hierarchies, and patterns. So that is all for our advanced organizers or graphic organizers. So I hope you understand this uh, short lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Bye!